welcome back so in this lecture we plan to cover layer concept and hatch concept so two two major concept we will be covering so layer command you can give once we uh, just create some layers and see how it works then we may discuss it in more detail so layer command you can give by clicking on this button or you can also give it from format menu first button is layer just click on layer then this layer dialog box will appear here so here autocad works on zero layer by default if you want to add our layer then you have to click on this button new layer button just click on that then you have to give the name to the layer so name should be meaningful if there are 100 layers you should know for what purpose you have created a layer so you can use for that you can use number of different logics so suppose you can use the logic of outline uh, type suppose the uh, continuous uh, one is outline center hidden like that or you can use a front for a one layer for front view top view side view or ob object wise you can create the layer so name should be meaningful suppose if i use the logic of line types i will give a name called outline then you have to give the color from this uh, color tab you have to give color so you can choose the color you want suppose i choose this color okay then for outline i i will be keeping the continuous line type as it is then from here you can give the thickness line weight suppose i want to give a 0.3 line weight so in this way i have created one layer outline layer a blue color and continuous as a line type and 0.3 as a line weight same way suppose i will create one more layer suppose this is center layer then uh, just type the name and just click outside so it will create that layer give the color suppose i give this color then for center layer i will need the center line type so i will click on this continuous and i will now center is not there so you have to load it so i will say load then just click inside this list and just press the uh, c c on the to, uh, keyboard so it will automatically go to center line type then then say okay then select the center and say okay so here center layer have the center line type from here i don't want any thickness so i will say default then again new layer i want a hidden layer for dotted lines then i will say hidden then color suppose i want this color then line type should be hidden so i will click on center then hidden is not available so i will say load then i will click here and click press h on the keyboard so hidden is there the dash dash line okay and i will select hidden then okay so in this way i have created three layers center hidden outline zero is the autocad default layer then i will close this dialog box here now here by clicking on this button you can see that there are three layers one by uh, one is made by autocad three are made by um, created by us so if i want to work on center layer then i will just click on center layer then whatever object suppose i create now line so whatever objects i create those will be drawn on that layer on that particular layer so suppose i will create one more line then i will create circle so it catches the properties automatically of the current layer so if i want to create a suppose hidden layer then i will again select here then i will say hidden then i will again create the object so it will be drawn on the that particular layer so i just want to array this circle so i will say array polar array select object enter then center point then number of objects are eight okay so in this way i have created object on hidden layer then i want to work on outline then again i want to create some circle so the circle is created on the outline layer so here you you will see that because of using of layer you have the colors to the object then you can give different line types to the object those are the two uses of uh, layer again we are given the thickness also that thickness you can see by clicking on this button show hide line weight so that thickness is also shown so you can make it on and off from here then third use you can uh, if you don't want to see suppose i don't want to see the hidden object the hidden objects i don't want to so see then i can make that layer off 
so by clicking on this bulb symbol you can make that layer off so those layer will be invisible if i want to see those layer objects back then i can again go to hidden and i will click on that button so those layer will become on again one more thing is there you can lock unlock layers so suppose if i lock the hidden layer and suppose if i try to e erase all the objects then there is no effect on the lock layer object so lock layer is unaffected by modify commands so in this way you can lock unlock the layer so because of these uses layer concept is used in autocad so again suppose if i want to uh, increase or reduce the gap between this line types hidden line and center line so for that you have to use the lts command so you just give lts line type scale so lts is the shortcut command name is lt scale so uh, then is asking me enter new line type scale suppose i give i will give five so you will notice that hidden gap and center line gap has been increased so in this way i can reduce suppose i use four uh, by pressing the enter you can repeat the last command so i am just pressing the enter and i am reducing the gap so in this way you can see that the gap between hidden line and center line is getting reduced so if i set is 2 so it is okay for me so in this way you can uh, increase and reduce the gap between the center line hidden, li hidden line using lts command then if i uh, after crea uh, creating of object suppose i want to change the layer of this object to hidden or uh, this blue object so i can use for that this match property command so just i will say you can give match property match prop is the command ma is the sh shortcut so i will say match property then is asking me select source object so which property i want to co copy i want to copy the property of this hidden object this is asking me select destination object so to which object i want to give this hidden property so i want to give hidden property to this blue object so i will click on this blue object so that hidden property is, is transferred to the red object so is he is still asking me select destination object so i can select suppose i will select all the objects so all the objects has been converted to hidden and by right clicking i will come out so in this way suppose uh, now uh, these lines i want to be converted to center so i will just select those objects and i will go on this toolbar layers toolbar and i will click on center layer and to come out you just have to press the escape so in this way you can change the layer suppose i want these objects to be on outline so i will just select and i will click on outline and just press escape so in this way you can change the layer afterwards after creation also or during creation also you can create the object on the specified layer so in this way you can use the layer concept now next funda we will see is hatch suppose i will create a new drawing so suppose i want to put a hatching lines in this rectangle so the here hatch command is there so command name is hatch you can also give h as a shortcut suppose a hatch so you have this dialog box for hatch so here first you can select the swatch which type of hatch you want to create you get, there are different type of hatch they have given suppose i select this and nc31 then say okay then select defend the boundary in which area you want to create the hatch then just add pick point is here so click on this button and uh, wherever you want to create the hatch inside that boundary you just click the point so it will automatically catch the boundary then right click and say preview so it will show how that hatch is visible so if this hatch is okay you can just right click if you want to make some changes just click the first mouse button so this dialog box will come back and you can make the changes suppose i just want to increase the gap between the lines so gap right now is very it is very close so i will just increase the gap by i will make the scale to for you then i can uh, see the effect of changes by clicking on this preview button so in this way the gap has increased so i will just right click to apply the hatch once hatch has been applied you can make the changes to the hatch by double clicking on the hatch so here suppose i want to create change the angle so this it has consider as zero this angle has been consider as zero here so uh, if i want to create a opposite angle so i will say here 90 degree so it will change the direction to opposite so in this way you can make the changes to the hatch then for hatch hatch the object should be closed suppose open object is there and now if i want uh, try to create a hatch 
by picking point then it will give a error has boundary not close it will also mark the by red circle where it is open so the those areas you have to close or either you also have option of you can define the boundary by selecting object also just click on this button and select the object then say right click and preview so in this way you can create the hatch and suppose there are multiple objects are there in which you want to create the hatch suppose uh, two uh, circles are there two rectangles are there and inside this i want to create a hatch so i will say add pick point i will click all the boundaries right click preview this is fine so i will just right click now you, you will see that the hatches are separate but here the hatch is single object so if i want to make changes to this portion all hatch area will be changing so to separate this hatch or all hatches from each other you just double click on the hatch and say separate hatches and say ok then each hatch will get separated so here i can make changes to this hatch suppose i want this cross pattern so uh, after that i want to copy this pattern into this so you can use the match property command or ma shortcut just select the source object and target object in this way you can copy the hatch so you can also create a suppose there are nested object if there are some nest nested objects are there object inside one another and if you try to create hatch for those objects i will give pick point then it will select all the object if i say preview then it is creating hatch on the alternate shapes so by clicking first point so here more option is there so here no, because of normal it is creating for alternate object if i say outer <coughs> and uh, if i click on preview then it is created hatch for only outer if i say ignore then it is created for all the portion so in this way you can control in which area hatch should be created i can create a hatch of single color also if i want to create a hatch of single color then you have to give hatch then go to swatch other predefined and select solid and from here you can select any color you want or you can select select color a dialog box is also there you can select any color then you pick inside boundary then right click preview and in this way you can create a single color hatch or you can also create a double color two color hatch also you can create by clicking on this gradient button you can select the pattern then add pick point the method is same right click preview you can change the colors also from here you can change the colors from here you can change both of the colors first and second color and you can see the effect so in this way you can create a gradient hatch also so in this way you can use the hatch command so thanks for joining